Hey everybody, I'm Randy Jane. Uh, I own the Boho Collective Company um, in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And um, I'm very excited because as this has been going on in the background, I'm setting all of it up, it's getting so close to opening an actual location. Um, so what I've been doing is getting everything ready in the background so that when I find a storefront, I can legitimately walk in, order my stuff, set it all up, and be ready in the first month to open my doors. So what I've been doing from my house is doing all the things in the background. I made my logo myself, I set up all my LLCs, I did everything I needed to do. So now it's the fun part. Um, I actually ordered my... Uh, bags and what I wanted to do is I didn't want to carry plastic because we live in Florida we live on the beach and it's just not okay to carry all the plastics so what I did was I ordered a biodegradable paper bag um, and then instead of um, putting a plastic sticker on everything with my logo I decided to order stamps so what I did this is the stamp that came the other day this is a six by six so this is what I use for my large bags, my large shopping bags. Um, so I had I put the handle on it. It's a little bit easier to put some pressure on to hit all of the corners. Um, obviously I've used it, so it's very wet right now. But um, then I did for my medium sized bags, I did the same stamp, but a three by three, um, which still has my name, but I got rid of my um, slogan that's on the bottom of the six by six. Um, and then I went for my smallest bags, a one by one stamp, which got rid of even my um, name and the slogan. It's just my symbol. Um, but I figured by the time people are just buying jewelry, they're going to remember what my name is anyway. So this is okay. So um, what, as you can see, my hands, I've been stamping all day. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is by the time I opened my store to have all of the like background Mod podge things done that I don't have to worry about it. So as I'm trying to set up my store, I don't have to worry about like, oh my goodness, I don't have shopping bags made yet. So um, what I've been doing, I ordered a whole bunch of bags off Amazon. Um, if you are looking to be in a business, there are great deals on Amazon for um, brown paper bags, and you can get a lot for your, big bang for your buck. Um, so the first one is like this is my biggest shopping bag that I have. And um, you can see I put my six by six stamp on there. Um, one thing I wanna let everybody know if you're doing a six by six stamp, I have ruined a lot of bags so far because a six by six stamp is actually pretty difficult to make sure that you get all the corners plus the middle pressed in to get the entire um, outline without having something disappear. Um, so, um, a trick I want to share with you that I finally realized after messing up several bags was what I did is took just like a, a baking sheet because the problem is these bags, um, these handles are kind of glued into the bag. So when you put the stamp on there plus the seam where it folds, it doesn't want to make the right impression because of all the indents. So what I realized kind of late is if I take that baking sheet and put it inside the bag like this, it makes this a very hard flat surface even though there's this crease. I mean, you'll still have some problems, so you'll want to go underneath this. Um, but, you know, you take it, you press it in underneath where the handles are. Um, and then what I realized I have to do is I have to hold in the center on the handle and then pound all four corners once. Just to make sure center's held down, it's getting its ink, and then all four corners are getting a pound to make sure that it does. Now, I'm telling you, this has been a process. I have messed up so many, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so, um, that's that. So this is my um, second size um, for, let's say someone just buys a few shirts or something like that. Um, but the six by six stamp was too big with how far the handles go down. Um, by the time I put a six by six here, it went way far down and it just wasn't centered correctly. So that's when I went to my three by three, which is the exact same thing minus my slogan, but um, still has my name on it. Um, but also with that, in order to, sometimes these bags are bent a little bit when they come in the mail. What I did was I just took this box, same thing, put it inside, 
and then it gave it a nice flat surface to be able to push a stamp on super hard and make hit all four corners plus the center and then it made it work so that's my trick um the next um size bag this is for oh Hey, you're not picking up my face. Hey, oh, follow me, follow me. This is my next size. This is um, for smaller items, like let's say a book maybe, or crystals or something like that. And then my, hey buddy. And then my last bag is gonna be the small one, which I used my one by one stamp, which doesn't have a logo or a slogan, but it does have my um, picture so that one goes on the very small one. And so if I'm selling just jewelry or something like that, it's gonna go in the smaller bag. Um, as I have been working with these stamps and everything else, I have had many mess ups and you will too. So obviously by the look of my hands, you can see this, but I'll show you. So as I was first trying these out, especially with the big stamp, this was my first one. Used way too much ink. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no way, even if it was a little bit messed up, I'd be like, well, I'm still gonna put clothes in it and you know, but this, that's, so don't put, oh, it's falling my face. Don't put too much ink on your stamp pad right away because it'll turn out like this and then you can't use it. Um, and then um, my next thing that I thought I was gonna try to do, uh, where is it? Oh no. Anyways, I thought I was gonna be super cute and be like, all right, in the corner of the bag, so I'm gonna stamp a whole punch, the shape of a heart, like a thank you, you know, being super cute, until I get it home and realized when I stamped it, it's an upside down heart and there is no way to spin this around. So I tried all different things. I tried down at the bottom of the bag, which that's pretty fun, until you open the bag there's no way if something was heavy in here that this would work, that would rip, and that just wouldn't be good for the customer. That'd be terrible for a review for you. So, decided to skip on that. Um, there's just many, many things that I've tried and has failed. Um, so I try to keep my bags, because I mean, they're kind of expensive. So the bags that I've messed up on, I have tried to keep those and anything that I wanna try something new on, do it on these bags, um, just to make sure. Um, so then the last thing that I did today, I was at um, Hobby Lobby and I decided just my stamp with my logo wasn't enough. I don't feel like that's a good enough thank you for the customer. So I bought all kinds of different thank you stamps. So on the front is my logo, on the back it will always say thank you. Um, I bought different hearts to put stamps around that. Um, a mandala, an XOXO, because it's kind of my signature. Um, to put on the bottom of the bag, which nobody will probably even notice, but just in case they do, it's gonna say be kind. Um, and then have the little like arrow. Um, so, I mean, you can do all kinds of things with these bags. Um, you know, like, here's the back of one of them. See, this be kind is on the bottom so they're probably never even notice it until they take their stuff out of their bag and then fold it up and then you know there's just a little love message so like this one says thank you the xoxo and hearts i did them all different you know always says thank you but like the mandala on the bottom and two hearts and then this one you know says xoxo thank you arrow so i tried to just change it up so they're not always exactly the same um one, because I feel like it's fun for me to be creative. And two, I feel like you put in that little bit of extra effort and it really does show to your customer. So anyways, that's what I've been working on today. I have, I don't know if this is gonna follow me. If you can see these, I have all of these bags still that I need to stamp, but it's okay, because it's fun. Um, and I'm excited for the day that I get to open and get to give these bags out to everybody that I work so hard on. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything, you can look us up on Instagram. It's gonna be under um, uh, Boho Collective Co. Um, NSB. 
and we'll also have a YouTube channel um, that this stuff is going to be posted on. It's not posted yet, um, but it will eventually be something that's out there along with Facebook. Um, if you have any questions, our email is bohocollectiveco at gmail.com. Um, other than that, I look forward to serving you all, and I hope that all of you stop at my store. And keep following my videos, please. Give us a like. Thank you.